Chen Li comes from a very distinguished family in Hong Kong. After Stanford, he came back to Hong Kong. And in the 1990s, I invited him to join the advisory council of the Hong Kong Center of the Asia Society. He was there at the meeting when Jack Wadsworth proposed to have a permanent campus. And Chen became a member of the ad hoc committee with Jack and myself. It was Chen who first discovered this site. The reason is because his family home is not far from here. And he proposed to us, and he brought Jack, probably together with Mary Lee Turner, our then executive director, to come to see this site. And I think the first time they came in, they realized that this is the best property for us. So Chen, we always have you to thank. I should also mention that Chen's father, Uncle J.S. J.S. was one of the very, very first people that Dr. Bob Oxtum contacted in 1990 when he first came to Hong Kong with the idea to start the Asia Society Hong Kong Center. We have much to thank for people like Chen and his family. Chen Li. Thank you, Ronnie, for such a generous introduction. I'm humbled, really, to be here today uh, among such a distinguished group of honorees on the 30th anniversary of the Asia Society Hong Kong Center. Uh, it's a bit like a dream come true to be sitting here today. I'm proud to have played uh, a small part in uh, making this a reality. Uh, I remember almost 20 years ago, I participated in what actually was quite a fun experience, working with fellow nominees Jack Wadsworth, Mary Lee Turner, and of course you, Ronnie, our chairman forever, uh, and be able to create such an incredible space uh, for the Hong Kong Center. In retrospect, this really turned out to be better than expected, as the center has successfully leveraged its iconic facility to put in on so many successful events, even during the current global pandemic. Our collective thanks, however, must go to all the visionaries, many of whom are also being honored tonight, uh, who took steps to found Asia Society Hong Kong Center as concrete evidence that there was still those who believed in a bright future for Hong Kong when there was much doubt. In a similar vein, the work of the center and the Global Asia Society organization today is more important than ever given the geopolitical landscape, particularly the tensions between the US and China. Therefore, in closing, I would not only like to wish Asia Society Hong Kong, but the entire Global Asia Society organization continued success in building bridges. Keep up the good work and thank you.